Arsenal had a very good experience with a midfielder named Vieira. So 17 years after he left, they decided to sign another midfielder with the same name. The North London club just announced Fabio Vieira as the latest Gunner after paying 40 million euros to bring him over from Porto. Today, we want to get to know this guy. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Fabio Vieira. Number 1. He was born and raised in Portugal. Now, considering that Patrick Vieira is French, you might have thought that Fabio Vieira would also be French, but no, he is Portuguese. He was born in Santa Maria de Feira, which is not so far from central Porto. And guess what? The name Vieira is actually Portuguese. Patrick Vieira was born to a Senegalese father and a Cape Verde mother and decided to take his mother's maiden name. In case you didn't know, Cape Verde is an African country whose lingua franca is Portuguese. So now that makes sense, doesn't it? Number two, he is from a poor background. Growing up, Fabio's parents could hardly provide for him and his family. They could barely afford food to eat and so boots and kits for him to play football were an absolute luxury. The little boy wanted to play football so badly, but with his parents not being able to provide him with the financial support that he needed, he needed extra help from somewhere, anywhere. Number 3. His best friend's dad gave him that help. Fabio Vieira's best friend is João Mario, that is the Porto right back, not the Benfica midfielder. Fabio and João are age mates and they grew up in municipalities not too far from each other. Their parents knew each other and they all knew that their sons had footballing talent, so both boys were enrolled in footballing academies in 2008. But as things were hard for the Vieiras, João Mario's dad decided to help out by driving Fabio to training every day. By the next year, both João Mario and Fabio Vieira were playing for Porto's academy, so Mario's dad would take the boys to training and bring them home together. Those trips were vital to Fabio's success because there was no way his parents would have been able to afford to give him money to go to training and back every day. Thank God for best friends and their parents, eh? Number 4. He got into an academy at 8. Fabio Vieira was a real talent and you could tell from when he was very young. He was such a standout boy that he was accepted into the prestigious Porto Academy at just 8 years of age. The boy kept working really hard and he finally made his debut with the Porto B team at the age of 19. As fate would have it, he came on for his best friend, João Mario, in the game against Aruca in the second tier of Portuguese football. He became so vital for that team, he even helped them win the UEFA Youth League in 2019. From that final, you could tell he was a real gooner as he was the one who opened the scoring in that game against Arsenal's bitter rivals, Chelsea. Porto went on to win the game 3-1 and lift the trophy. Fabio later broke into the Porto first team in 2020, scoring in only his second UEFA Champions League appearance in October of the same year. Number 5. He is a leader. Having lost two of their leaders in the dressing room in Aubameyang and Lacazette in the same year, it's vital that Arsenal get new players who know how to lead. And Fabio Vieira is just that guy. He may only be 22 years old, but he already has experience wearing the captain's armband for both club and country. After he helped Porto Juniors win the UEFA Youth League in 2019, he was handed the armband the following season just before breaking into the senior team. Number 6. He hired Pini Zahavi After rising to the top at Porto, Fabio intelligently hired one of the OGs of the football agency world, Pini Zahavi. Just in case you don't know the Israeli agent, he was involved in Roman Abramovich's acquisition of Chelsea in the early 2000s and was responsible for Ferdinand's record-breaking move to Man United in 2002. Right now, Jahavi works as the agent of some of the top players in the world, including Carrasco, Hoiberg, Nkunku and Lewandowski. So Vieira is in very good company there. Number 7. Cazorla Comparisons Already, Gunas are getting some kind of nostalgic feeling from Vieira's signing. Apart from the name, which obviously reminds them of one of their greatest captains, the Portuguese attacking midfielder also reminds many of another attacking midfielder they absolutely adore, Santi Cazorla. 
The Spaniard, who played for Arsenal between 2012 and 2018, is one of the most talented attacking midfielders the club has ever enjoyed. And as far as they are concerned, Vieira is showing signs that he can even surpass what Santi did while he was in North London. Fabio is a good passer of the ball, can score goals, and is also pretty good at set pieces, so yes, he does have quite a lot in common with Santi Cazorla. Number 8. He is a winner. Arsenal are getting a really good bargain with Vieira because, although he's only 22, he already knows what it feels like to win. And if the Gunners are going to compete in the coming seasons, they need players exactly like him. Apart from the UEFA Youth League which he won in 2019, Fabio has gone on to win two league titles with the Porto senior team and a domestic cup too. And he was not just a member of the squad who was carried, he was actually vital. In the just concluded season, he had 20 goal contributions in 27 games played. As a matter of fact, only Rafa of Benfica provided more assists than him in the Portuguese Primeira Liga all season. In the 2020-21 season, Fabio Vieira completed a hat-trick of assists on two different occasions. A table he sits at with Lionel Messi, Arsenal are really getting an absolute gem in this kid. Number 9. He has a girlfriend. Just in case you've been admiring him and hoping to get a chance with him, sorry to break your heart but Fabio Vieira is already taken. The latest Arsenal man leads a very low-key life and not much is known about his relationship except that, as he revealed, his favourite thing in the world is just to be at home with his girlfriend. Lucky girl, eh? Number 10. His announcement. Fabio is no ordinary player, so when Arsenal wanted to announce him on Twitter as their latest signing, they knew they had to do it in an extraordinary way. The official Twitter account of the North London Club put out five different tweets, with each tweet starting with each of the letters in his name, Fabio. When they were at I though, an Arsenal fan figured it out and tweeted about it, and the Arsenal handle replied, or could it be a coincidence, cleverly starting that tweet with an O to successfully spell out Fabio? And of course, the very next tweet was Benvindo Fabio, which is Portuguese for Welcome Fabio. We all love an out-of-the-box announcement now, don't we? Anyway, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think Fabio Vieira will perform at Arsenal? Hit us with your number in the comments. For more videos like this one, give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.